go, losers. So check this out, all right? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. So I was reading this article, something had come on my feed, and uh, it said something about New York politicians and passing passing a bill. On. This, I just want to say, you're all a little tired now, but after we sign this into law, you're going to get a good night's sleep. Okay, so the next time we get together, you'll be a lot perkier than you are right now. But I understand if you're a little groggy this morning, okay, because we haven't signed this yet. And, uh, first of all, uh, thank you. It's great to be in this beautiful center, and I want to thank all my friends. About loud pipes, exhaust, tuners, something along those lines. And they said they wanted to ban them because... Uh, I gotta, I got to recall this wording. Modified exhaust systems ser serve no purpose other than to create fear, chaos, and intimidation. They stem from a culture of aggressive driving that has been tolerated for far too long. The signing and the enforcement of the Sleep Act will be a major step in not only reducing noise pollution, but in addressing reckless driving. As a New York City resident who has been impacted twice by vehicle violence, the noise associated with these vehicles serves as a constant reminder of those incidents and the aggressive driving. They wanted to ban them because people found them to be threatening. That's, that's like the word they used. They try to like victimize themselves. Those loud pipes are threatening my life. I'm scared for my life. Being the loud pipes, man. I'm freaking scared. I was chilling at Starbucks and I was getting off work on my barista shift and I was about to go to my LGBTQ meeting and my Antifa meeting and all of a sudden a loud bike comes revving by and I was scared for my life. I had to call the cop. I think they actually already did. They banned them for cars and motorcycles. Which is the dumbest thing ever. Like, do loud pipes? I have to, do I have to explain this again? Do loud pipes save lives? Now in every situation, no. But if you're at a standstill like this and no one's really moving or paying attention, and you do that, best believe, look at that guy. You see how he just looks over at me? And there's probably someone way up ahead and way behind me that hears a bike. They may not see me, but they just heard me, right? Now that's enough. If I'm a driver, I'm gonna think to myself, man, I don't see that motorcycle, but I hear him. I gotta look out for him, right? So that's just one of those ways a loud pipe can save your butt. Now I've been in situations where I'll be I'll be driving a car, and I swear, dude, there are some motorcycles. That car, or sorry, some bikes out here have like no sound to their exhaust like zero sound whatsoever and the motorcycle had driven right past me it was at night and he you know it's dark out he's wearing black his bike is black you don't hear him you don't see him and you think to yourself like dang dude i could easily i could have easily hit you but you know, some people just like to think to themselves, oh, a loud pipe ain't, ain't gonna save you. Of course it won't save you in every situation. But you better believe there are some situations where a loud pipe can save you. It's, it's about using everything to your advantage. A loud pipe, bright, bright clothing, smart, smart driving and maneuvering and keeping an eye out for textures and all that junk and people who are you know lane straddling
So when I see articles like that, that say, oh, I'm so threatened. I'm threatened by loud exhaust and tuners. They're scary and they're creating an unsafe environment. It's like, bro, come on. One thing I will give them though is, I don't know, not, not out here, but I've been seeing more and more, or been hearing more news about, about a lot of these idiot cars who will street race. And they're not, they're not discreet about it at all because they either hit and kill somebody or, you know, they crash and they kill themselves and they just bring negative attention to their, to their whole, you know, environment. And then obviously that leads lawmakers and, and cops to crack down on them. Um, so these cars, I get it, dude. Like these street racing cars and all that, that, that is, that's like, that's one thing, but a motorcycle, let's be real. If I hit someone with my motorcycle, they're not getting hurt. It's, it's somebody else. And I don't tune my motorcycle to race it. I am tuning my bike to let it, let that sucker breathe and let it adjust to the new exhaust and the new air cleaner, right? I'm not over here trying to street race a Harley, come on. I just want to piss some people off of my loud exhaust and make them feel threatened. That's it. Make them feel threatened and have to go get psychological help because they get trauma from my exhaust mostly. Get out of here, man. And look at who we have here. We got a little Tesla action, my friends. Oh my God. You know, when these Teslas first came out, they're pretty cool. You know, I was like, wow, it's, it's a full blown electric car. It isn't but ugly. I mean, it ain't the prettiest car in the world, but it ain't super ugly. It ain't a Prius or something, you know? But I mean, it's like, it's so played out at this point. It's like everybody has one. Everybody has a Tesla. And when you see something everywhere, it's like, dude, come on, if I really want that, I want to be another Tesla on the road in my electric vehicle. In my electric vehicle that can be shut off remotely, I'm not, ah oh man, I'm not buying anything electric, man. Sorry. Call me old school, call me what you want to call me. I'm not buying any of that crap. I don't, I feel like when you buy electric, you basically buy into that whole agenda. You buy into the uh, global warming agenda, climate change agenda, banning of exhaust agenda, banning of tuners, banning of gas vehicles. I think they're planning on banning gas vehicles in California in about, in less than 10 years, I, I want to say. So just think about that. I'm never buying electric. I don't I don't give a crap. God bless Texas. Keeping it real out here. You can't you can't do this you can't do this with a Tesla right here. You can't make this kind of noise. You can't wake the neighborhood up with a, with a Tesla like this, guys. You just can't do it.